Hi! In this video, we'll show you how to render SketchUp Skillshot pages on our farm. Our plugin is designed to work with SketchUp 2017 and V-Ray 3.4 or higher. After installing our software and opening RenderBeamer, you'll need to prepare your scene for still page rendering. To proceed, just open your V-Ray render settings. Set the desired resolution and aspect ratio. Configure your output setup, and as you can see on our example, we have a warning about incorrect output paths. If this warning exists in your scene, V-Ray Exporter won't work, and you won't be able to send your scene to our farm. To fix that, just open the Saving dialog box and set output path to your local directory. Here, you should also set the output file name and output format. Now the warning sign um, isn't there anymore. Next, you'll need to check your animation settings. As we're only rendering a still shot, the animation switch should be off. The next step is GI setup. Our software is taking care of GI caching, but if you have your own pre-cached GI maps, just switch the mode from file and connect the irradiance map file. Otherwise, please leave the GI setup on the default single frame mode. If you need additional render layers for compositing, you can add them in the render elements box. Just roll down the menu and add all desired additional render outputs. All of them will be rendered along with your main output. You can add as many render elements as you want. After completing the scene setup, just save your file. Next, run Render Beamer from the Extensions menu, and after hitting our plugin button, you'll see a warning about sRGB correction. You can check your current sRGB correction setup on the Frame Buffer window. To do that, just click on the Frame Buffer icon and check the highlighted switch. It's crucial to render the scene with the same RGB setup as you have on your local machine. Otherwise, the render will be too dark. By default, sRGB is always on, so if you haven't changed this setting, just click OK to continue. You can set sRGB on and off later after uploading the scene. Next, you'll see a main plugin setup window. In the Selected Mode box, please choose Page Render. This mode is designed to render still shots with distributed rendering. Page render creates three jobs GI caching, render, and merge. GI caching will create a lighting map, which is used by the render job. The render job calculates the scene using the strips uh, method, and each render node gets one strip to render. At the end of the process, the merge job will connect all strips into one final frame. To continue, just select the number of strips and the orientation. If you don't have a pre-cached GI, which is the default setup, please always leave the bake switch on. Otherwise, your render may have visible strip connection lines. To continue, just click the Send to Farm button. At this point, V-Ray will start preparing the scene for export. Depending on project size, the number of used objects, lights, and textures, this process can take a minute or longer. Please don't do any SketchUp operations while V-Ray is preparing the scene to export. SketchUp may look like it's hanging, but it's working on your scene export in the background. After the scene preparation is complete, all of your data is redirected to the RenderBeamer main interface. RenderBeamer takes care of all upload and download processes. Now you'll just need to wait for the upload process to complete. Depending on your internet speed and the number of files to upload, the whole process can take from a few minutes to several. But once it's done, RenderBeamer will show up with the window providing you a direct link to launch your scene on your Web Manager account. So just click on the link to continue and next, log in with your user ID and password. Check the job submission window, and here you can review your scene setup before adding it to the render queue. Please remember about sRGB switches, as this is the last place where you can change a setting before adding the scene. 
um, to, to render. To proceed, just click on the Submit button. Now your scene will be added to the Render Farm queue. After hitting the Submit button, you will be automatically redirected to the Jobs panel. Here you can view real-time progress of the render. As you see, there are three jobs, GI Bake, Render, and Merge. All three jobs are working in conjunction, so each of them needs to be done before you can download the final frame. You'll have to wait a couple of minutes for the rendering to complete, and after the render completes, you can go back to your render beamer and download the frame. To do that, just switch to the Download tab and hit Refresh List. You can also use Beamer's Auto Download feature. To set it up, just open the Beamer settings and check the Auto Download switch. For manual downloading, just right click on the scene name and hit Download from the pop up menu. After completing the download process, you can use Open Directory and check your input. As you can see, we've got the strips and the merged files. Just open the merged folder to see the full sized frame. If everything is fine with the main output and render elements, you can continue with the next scene. Thanks and happy rendering!